five, four, three, two, one. Hey! Yeah, episode two o two. Two o two. Whatever you're looking from. Yeah, if you're looking from your asshole, your vagina hole, it's your ear two. hole, you can hear us through your ear holes. You can hear us through your assholes. You can hear us through your mouth holes. You can hear us through your fucking other holes. There's a lot of holes. Jesus, she's going bananas. Holy shit. Oh, oh, she's eating the shoe. She's eating the shoe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now she's going for the arm. She's going for the arm. Oh. And, <laughs> and she's that's tired. the she's best tired yet. friendly dog on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. We have a nice poodle. But if you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple, you can watch us on YouTube or Facebook. If you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us on Apple or Spotify. Yeah, you can go even to Spotify and Apple and see us. Yeah. And say to our no, hello. you need to learn how to speak proper English. It's called Spotify. <laughs> it's Spotify. They're Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, see? No, we are? No. Only retards use ours, so that's why they're called retards. <laughs> you can't say retards. Yes, I can. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. Speaking of retards, I she's trying to eat my shoes now. <laughs> Stop! Speaking of retards, so with Spotify... Yeah. Renny, stop. Good girl. So I have a Spotify account. Okay, I'm trying to tell you a story. <laughs> no, I get yeah. attacked by Poodle. Yeah, and put her in Tia's room. Okay, Lock so her what happened? <laughs> She's just hey, fighting with you. Okay, so bless what you. So what is the story about? So Spotify, bless you. Oh, 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 really? oh, oh. What's okay? Jesus She's gonna Christ. Lay down. Gonna, okay, okay, good, good. So with Spotify. Yeah, that's what happened. They've been. Taking money from me for many years. Yes. And I've never had a premium membership. What? So I've decided I decided I'm gonna try to contact them and try to get my account switched to premium or get my money back. Yes, so what happened? So I go on their website uh-huh. for customer service. Yes. And then I end up in like a chit bullshit like chat. Okay. Like okay. you do in a website chat room. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. talking with the lady. Okay. And I said, hey, listen, I have a Spotify account. You guys have been taking money from my credit card. And I never had a premium membership. I had the free version. Yeah, yeah. But I've always been paying you. Yeah, yeah. For some reason. Because of my old account, I had an old account with a different email, and that was premium. Okay. And because of the old email, never ended up, like, not working anymore. Okay. So I created yeah, a yeah, new, new account. New, yeah, yeah, with new email. With the, with the new email. But they were still taking money from my credit card. Yes. Which I found weird. You should stop them. I tried to do that. I went to the bank. No I bank. said, can you stop them from taking money? You have to call them. They said, no, we're lazy fucks. We want to collect our interest from you spending money. So you have to go out of your way to try to contact the guys from Stockholm, Sweden mm-hmm. to get your money back okay. or stop them from taking payments. So I'm like, okay. So I do the chat online with Spotify. Watch your face. And I said, listen, you guys are taking money, whatever. So the person on the chat's like, Okay, we'll track it. Can you give us the four digits of the card number? So I give her the four digits. No, I have no money. No, and then she's like, oh, this is, we don't have it in our records. And I go, well, I have it in my records that it says Spotify is taking my fucking money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, okay, take a picture of the bank thing that says yeah, Spotify is taking it. So I take a picture, I send it to them, and she's like, okay, uh, yeah, this account matches, we have it on file. That w- now they have it? Yeah, now they magically have it, even though they've been taking money for four years. Okay, so what now? Now, I'm like, can you upgrade it to premium, since I'm already paying for it? Can you fix my account? Yeah. She said, no problem. 
Now you have no she... even free one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so then she's like, you have to shut down your account you have now. So we're going to send you a thing that says shut down this account. So I said, where about my money? Okay, so I shut down th my free account that I had already. Okay. Gone forever. Oh, shit. Okay? Then she's like, we're going to make you a new account with the premium, but you have to wait 14 to 30 days to start using it. Oh. I said, what about if I want to listen to music tomorrow? No, you have to wait 14 to 30 days. And I'm like, no, no, no. I've been paying yeah. four years. Ten dollars a month to you fucks. You never gave me premium. And now you're telling me I can't even have a free account right now. Okay, so what now? So she had the audacity to be like, Oh, if you want to listen to Spotify, is it okay you could go and make yourself a whole new email so you can make a whole new account so you can listen for free for free till your other email opens up, which is going to take 14 to 30 days. So we'll have enough. So I said, fuck you, you fucking idiots. I don't want to wait one month for a free account, basically. So I said, you know what? I just want a refund, cancel it, and give me my email back so I can use Spotify for free. She said, we can't do that now. Oh, you said, oh, when? She's like, because we already did it this way, you have to wait 14 to 30 days to even log in with that email. You should say, I want to speak to my manager. And then she's like this. This is the best. This company makes like $2 billion a month. Okay. Okay. She's like, all we could give you is three months refund. You know how much is three months refund? $30. 30 fucking dollars. We'll give you a $30 refund, even though we've been taking it for like four fucking years. Yeah. And we have it. $20 times four is $480. They took it. And now they want to give you just thirty dollars back. That's the best. And on top deal. of that, now they made my they made an account with my email, but I cannot access it for another month now. So I have no more music. I have no music for a month. No music on my phone. I can't listen to podcasts. I can't listen to Joe Rogan. Not why? Because I'm locked out. I have to. The the only way for me to actually listen to Spotify right now is I have to go on Yahoo or Google. Create a whole new fucking email account, and then create a whole new Spotify account with that whole new email account to fucking listen to music again. Shit. So I fucking snapped. I was like, this was a fucking waste of time. I'm chatting with her for like an hour and a half. I'm like, this is such a waste of fucking time. Why wouldn't you, dumbass employee, just grab my old account, attach the credit card to it, because you already have all the information for it, just attach it to the old account and then up, just upgrade it to premium and then I could have used it right away. Why wouldn't you do that? That's what I said to her. And she's like, oh, you, you decided to change your mind halfway. I'm like, I didn't change my mind. I said, you led me down a stupid road yeah, exactly. to a point where I had to completely erase my fucking account. So now I don't even have an account. You fucking erased my account. Not me. You. You gave me the guidance, and you told me to erase my account to get a premium account. And then now, you're going to take another month of payments when I'm going to be locked out of Spotify for a whole fucking month. So yeah. I can't even use it for a month. So what happened? You have this now? I what? have no more Spotify on my phone. Oh, fuck. You didn't do it right. You should be supposed to say, okay, I want to talk to your supervisor. Always. And then she gonna say, okay, because supervisor can do more and their retards can do it. Yeah, but you don't win because these stupid bullshit apps and companies hire fucking idiots at home, paying them 20 bucks an hour to put on a headset and go on their laptop. And then they're the ones fucking fixing your shit for you. It's not actually the company fixing it. It's some third party fucking retard. Why don't you call a game? And try different guy. Maybe this different guy gonna fix it. No, so I basically have to wait. No, so see. I, I have to wait. You're not listening to me. You think you're not listening to me? No, you're not listening. It's always to me. A, 
She wait. basically made a new account with my email. I have to wait a month to use Why it. Why do you have to wait so long? Because that's their fucking bullshit rules with Spotify. You can't use it right away. You have to wait 14 to 30 Why days to they process. Said. Why so long? There's no explanation. That's their fucking rules. What rules? What are these rules? That are that That's thing? why I'm saying Spotify is pissing me off with these fucking customer service bullshit. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Fucking Stockholm bullshit. I was thinking Apple is the slowest, but at least they're doing it in the same day. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. But now I have to wait a month, and then I have to figure out a month later now how to log into my new account, and then I'm going to have to message them again to fucking figure out a password for it. So you just take this phone and call the Spotify and just listen. No, so I went back, I grabbed a bunch of CDs, I put new CDs in my car, I'm going to listen to CDs for the next month. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Fucking these assholes. They create an app, they're like, listen to music. No problem. Yeah. I try to make an account, I try to be normal with them, yeah. and I ended up with a stupid retard on the chat. Who basically erased my account. Oh, shit. That's... They took my money. Yeah. And basically, I ended up losing five five to six hundred dollars of Spotify, never having a premium account. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they took... It was like they were taking it forever. Like, just nonstop. Ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks. So I said, fuck it. I'm gonna... Because every time I call the bank... No, they... you can't call bank. You have to shut down... Mm -hmm on your credit card take shot. yeah that's what I do every time I call the credit card yeah, credit people card, yeah. and I go can you stop them they go well did you try contacting them I go why do why I can't even contact these fucking idiots they don't even have an option you know how pain in the ass it was to f fucking figure out how to message Spotify to fix my Spotify account uh -huh. oh my goodness that's terrible yeah, that was my day yesterday. Yes. Why don't you put your shoes in the normal spot? Why do you always make it easy for her to grab it? Do you lock her into his room? No. I lock her here. <laughs> well, I have no brain. I can't fucking put it on the top shelf of my shoes. So the dog won't eat it. Fucking same bullshit every single week. Fucking never learn. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what happened? And then on top of that, mm -hmm. from yesterday, mm -hmm. then at work, fucking another fucking headache at work. Yeah. So we're like closing, we're cleaning oh. at nighttime. It's okay. like 10.40 p.m. Okay. We close at 11 p.m. Okay. I'm about to sweep him off the floor, wrap everything, turn everything off, ready to go soon. Okay. Then another employee from another property calls at like 1040. What he want? He's like, I'm hungry, I want some food. But we're about to close in like 20 minutes. So the server was like, oh, I don't... He has everything off. He has the grills clean, all this shit. Like, he almost has everything off. We're going to leave soon. I don't know if he could cook you food. And then this guy from the other property has the audacity to say on the phone, you have to cook me fucking food. I saying? want fucking food. This is what he said on the phone. I want fucking food. You go to the cook. You ask him what he can fucking cook me right now. You have to cook me fucking Why food. Why you cook? Or I have to, or I'll fucking tell your manager on you and fuck you over. Yes. This is what the guy, this fucking goofy, stupid with glasses... Button up shirt, fucking loser who works at this other property, threatening on the phone like that, asking for. Why food. you don't go to manager and say what he said? I'm. I have to go today because my manager was at home. Yeah. No, time. don't manager. Go to HRR and say this guy tell exactly what he said. Yeah. Exactly. Say, I was nicely, and he start fucking threatening me. I understand. I have to start cooking, but you don't have to threaten me. You don't have to talk like that. Exactly. On the phone. But yeah. say it. You was yeah. willing to start everything. Yeah. But the guy getting bananas, and I don't appreciate that and working so hard for you guys, and I don't want this. And the HRR are gonna fucking take your boss for fucking year and say what the fuck is going on, and then fix that. These are the fucking idiots I work with. They fucking think like they work at other properties. These fucking losers. Have not even been working through the whole pandemic. They've been laid off for the full year. I've been working fucking full time 
the whole fucking time, working full time during the pandemic, making them money. But so they can still have a job to I go don't to. care about this. You yeah. know, tell them nobody gonna talk to you on the phone like this. And next time, if you call like idiots, we no answer the phone from them. That's it. I'm not cooking. Say it. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him today because I was like, I couldn't believe that he talked to her like that on the phone. Like when she answered. Who was that her? The worker, server. Yeah, the and restaurant. the server said you have to and go. And she came up to me and she's like, the guy on the phone was like, I want a fucking pizza. Cook me a pizza. What kind of pizza can you cook him? So I told him the type of pizzas I could cook him. And then it was like, okay. So I made him pizzas. And he came by, and he comes, and this is even worse. He has the audacity to say that on the phone. Then we, we're supposed to be closed at 11 p.m. Doesn't show up till 10 after 11. Why he didn't close 11? Because this fucking idiot ordered no, food. You see, you don't have a brain. You go by the rules. Yeah. It's 11, you close it. He wasn't there. Fuck it. Yeah. Leave the pizza, say, close, your pizza is on the table, inside. And you know what's even more fucked up is he orders that food while he's working, so then he gets 50% off, so he's not even paying full price for this food, he's getting 50% off, so he's getting like $40 of pizza. Oh, this guy figured out everything. Yeah, $40 yeah. of pizza, he gets it for $20. Yeah. I don't understand why he didn't close 11. I will be laughing to him. You late. I gotcha. It's yeah. 11 o'clock. We not... You late. You no coming inside so I anymore. I see the, the chick... And my picture. The same time he coming, boom, and you have time. Look, it's 11 o'clock. He's, he's swearing. I make him pizza all the time. He never show up. Yeah, I had it ready for 11. Yeah. I know. And we going. It's a fucking bullshit. I'm, and you say like this. That's the worst thing on work on there. I'm not slave. Just say this word. You're gonna see how this works, everybody. Oh. I'm a worker, I'm not slave. I'm not gonna fucking follow somebody's stupid fucking argument and everything. If it's 11 o'clock, we're closing 11 o'clock. It's okay, I'm making pizza, he didn't show up on 11. I'm not gonna wait for uh, for the guy. Yeah. Tell today everything. Well, I don't know, I, I'm getting and like... I'm use saying... this, use this word, man. You're gonna say, I'm not slave. Fucking this one guy say, I'm not slave. I wanna break. Miller fucking shut down everything because he said this. Yeah. And everything. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I fucking told told my boss on the weekend. Was... He said, oh, keep going. We do breaks like this. No, no, I'm not slave. I do a break where I want to break. Mm -hmm. And fucking that's it. He pulled over. Well, it's bullshit because it's like, it's already been a year and a half of the pandemic. Yeah. We lost, like, no raises. No fucking profit sharing. And remember now, it's like, listen, now it's like so... People emotional fucked up. Yeah. So if you go slave, you're gonna say I'm not slave. They're gonna oh shit, you getting close to blow up. Yeah. So they're gonna say fuck it, and they're gonna you gonna tell but, his name. You have to tell his name, yeah. and you say to your boss. And by the way, I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. but I want a meeting with HRR. Say to your boss this, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna call you, and you're gonna say I want to talk about this fucking incident. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not slave. All men, AH are gonna be like crazy. Well, because we already had like a, when the pandemic started, they brought managers from different properties to work with us. Yeah. And there was one guy who was running another property. Yeah. He was such a shit worker. I looked at my boss. I'm like, I don't want to work with this fucking idiot ever. anymore. Yeah. Anymore. As soon as he goes to that other property, tell, tell, the head people, I don't want him back here. I don't want to work with this overpaid fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, you can use the word. No, I did. I said, I don't, I can't work with this fucking moron. This fucking, he was, this guy has 80 grand salary Holy with the company. Shit. You know what he was doing when I was working with him? There was an arcade golf machine in the corner. <laughs> he was playing He golf? was going with like $10 a change. Playing the golf game for fucking four hours. And then he goes, okay, I'm done. Goodbye. But what his job is? He was like the head of that property. Manager. Yeah, but what he has supposed to do? Well, he's a cook. He's a chef. He's manager or cook? What chef. the fuck? If you're a chef, yeah. you're an executive fucking manager. You're an executive chef, which means you're the manager. You run everything. 
You have to make sure all the beer comes in, food comes in, this comes in. So, well, maybe he did everything. No, right? his restaurant was closed. He had to come to us to work because they already have him on salary. Yeah, but what's he going to do in your place? Fucking work! Yeah, but you said he's Cook manager. pizzas! No, Clean. you said he take care only for no. everything work. He decided to fucking play a golf game and get paid $80,000. Wow. Okay, I got it. You're, if you're coming to work, work! He didn't work! Did you tell him about it? Yeah, and no, they got rid of him. He doesn't work for the company anymore. He oh, moved okay. across the country now. Because he was a fucking shit worker. Oh, okay. It's a fucking piece of shit. Because sometimes you tell your, man, your manager and they together. I get no. Clubs. He, yeah. trust me, a lot of managers love this guy. And they know me with work. When I give my honest opinion on someone, they actually listen because I've been doing this for 12 years already. Yeah, yeah. And they see how I work, and they know if I'm saying someone is bullshit, then they... Is just, someone is bullshit. Is really bullshit. bullshit. Oh, shit. Okay. But don't forget today, say, listen, you want a meeting with HRR because you, you're getting... Uh, you don't want to like this phone call. No, you no kind of get it force you. Fucking screaming and swearing on the waitress. Make sure you have fucking her on your side too. What well, there's three of us working. No, no, but she, she answered yeah, yeah. the phone and she said he would say fucking pizza. Yeah, I want a fucking pizza. She said that to you. He the said the guy. That. Yeah, said that on the phone. So hundred percent said I want a fucking pizza. Don't be surprised if she changed the tune now. No, no, he didn't say it like that. And you're gonna be screwed. It doesn't matter because. They should know that we close at 11 p.m., so they should know to order it earlier, so that way they can pick it up for 11, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can fucking order 11. We if have... You, we have if a, we are going to ask for a plan and they close 7, I have to be 6.30. Yeah, there. I have to be out 7. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Because we have a big fucking billboard in front of the building. Huge fucking 20 foot by 20 foot sign oh, that says, fucking. we close at 11 p.m. Yeah. I know, people crazy, man. It's, if it is Russia, this would be don't possible to do this. It's fucking 11. Sorry. You're late. 10 minutes. Your pizza is cold. You can pick it up tomorrow. We open. What time we open? Well, today we open 8 a.m. We open 8 a.m. You can pick it up. Welcome to come pick it up. You motherfucker. But it's like, that was my day yesterday, dealing with all that bullshit with Spotify, that oh, bullshit so this, with that oh, guy. Oh, so you have a bad day. And yesterday. I was like, holy uh, shit. Why, why do people, why are people so fucking stupid? You figured out through their life, like people really... Are you. really fucking oh, stupid. Why was even, like, we was working on this intersection with everything, how yeah. people can wait five minutes. Fucking coming from the cars... Screaming on cops, screaming on everything because yeah. we have to go. Well, you're gonna go five minutes later, but if we talk to you, we're gonna even take longer mm -hmm. because we can't do nothing because you create problem. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable how people fucking they so nice, but if something's going on not their way, everybody get bananas. But it's and, stupid. you know who was the worst? Your mother. <laughs> if somebody cut her on the traffic, yeah. oh my god, I was thinking she's gonna kill the guy. I'm yeah. like, so what? Let him, who cares? We're gonna she go was a such a bad driver, she hit a tree, what, four times? Oh, she was spinning. In her, in her life, she, hit, she ran her car into a tree four, four times. I know. She hit a tree. And on top of that, she got T-boned buying that new car. Oh, that's sad, yeah. Like, I you know what I mean? Picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that, but, you know, that's what she was... Because she's always thinking about something she no concentrated on the road. Yeah, she's thinking of donuts. I don't know. Candy bars. She do the donuts. She's like, what tree. kind of cake should I make myself tonight? And then she fucking, boom, in the tree. Neither fucking does, done. Uh, that's Lucy food. Go away, you. But yeah, it's always people from that property, too. They order food, like, late at night. No, maybe they, you know... They cut up with the time, and they finally sit, and they say, oh, fuck, is this, I better call. You know what's fucking pisses me off, though, the most? What? They have a kitchen in that property, and they have a full fridge with food, like sandwiches and shit, yeah. ready Who to go. Do it if they ready to go, yeah. and it's like $2 a sandwich, and they go out of their way to get me make them a pizza for like $15. But what kind of pizza they make? A fucking party tray. Like a tray. Yeah, but... One, this one guy orders a tray, 24 slice pizza, pepperoni pizza. He's gonna eat 24 slice pizza? I know. And then on top of that, another 8 slice pizza. But you should be have a limit. 
You can't there's order no one limit. person fucking so much pizza. There's no limit. No, no, that's stupid. And this is while he's working, he's buying all this food. And he coming home and he fit 20 people in the no. house? No. And this is probably, a, this guy is probably a manager at that property, and he's probably getting food for, like, employees there. And then he's being an asshole, because he probably promised his employees food, and then he was just a fucking lazy shit and ordered the food late, and then decided, and then he fucking snapped. Yes. Because those employees were probably working really hard. Well, you didn't tell me he was manager. I think he's a manager. Are you thinking or not? A nighttime not? manager over there. I was thinking he's a waitress. It doesn't... Said. No, the waitress answered the phone. Yeah, but that guy called with yeah. special glasses, he said. Yeah, that. like retard. Like fucking... Fucking retarded fool go fucking douchebag. Fuck. But why? Okay, so I have a solution for you. Why you don't always make pizza... <laughs> Fucking party pizza and leave it always. Because he doesn't he doesn't order every yeah, but week w- like that. Yeah, but keep it this it's like once in a blue moon. Yeah, and next day you take this home if you nobody pick it up. You can't take it the next day. That's not safe. That's not healthy. Oh, oh I'm talking to you. If you have a pizza, hide this pizza somewhere. You can't. If you somebody order, you give them pizza on the way because you have already. And if you're not, you can't you're just do fun- that. That's fucking not health and safety. The food. Yeah. What? That pizza, my pizza can stay you fucking can't three do days that. in the fridge. You can't do that. That's not safe. Yeah, but you can take this pizza after. I could take it home. Yeah. yeah if I wanted to. If he yeah, you can say, hey, right, listen, I'm gonna make pizza. You know, you see, you don't have no imagination. You're gonna make this pizza. Listen, don't say nothing. You're gonna make this pizza. Talk to your manager. Always, if they call late, say, we only have this pizza. Right? I did say that. So, he gonna say, every time you're gonna make this pizza, mm-hmm. you're gonna hide it. If you know, but you say to your manager, if you nobody know pick it up, I'm buying next day. Pay you for that pizza. 40% like they pay. And you take home. Mm-hmm. And we can eat. We can re- 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 reheating and eat. Make ready pizza! Uh, in a box! You are not listening to me. He picked it up. It's not, he's not fucking... Yeah, but what happened next time, so you clean everything, you're done, and if it's some little cold, you have already something ready. Nothing will be ready. You have to cook it on the spot. Why? Because you can't fucking pre-cook pizzas like a fucking dumbass. You're gonna cook 920 pizza. You're gonna put this pizza on the rack, still hot, and fucking That's pizza. not how pizzerias work, you fucking dumbass. You don't have to follow the rules. You yes, you out. do. So you have like something for him they, always. Like, like oh, the you. other day, my boss was like, we're going to start putting garlic oil. Stop eating it. <laughs> like the other day, this also happened the other day. Oh, Jesus. My, yeah. boss, was, my boss was like, we're going to start putting garlic oil on the pretzel buns that people order oh, so we have like pretzel buns that dip in cheese yeah and we're like we're gonna drizzle garlic oil today on these buns okay so we get a pretzel order okay first fucking pretzel order we get no garlic no i put the drizzle i set it up uh, the server comes back and she's like is there garlic on the buns? Because we never did garlic oil. We just fried the buns and salted them and give it to you. We've been doing that for like a month. Yeah. Today, he People magically like was like, put garlic oil on it. Most of the women don't like garlic. That's no. Weird. The person starts eating it. It doesn't say on the menu it comes with garlic oil. Buddy starts eating it. Halfway through, he goes, I'm allergic to garlic. Oh, fuck. And is eating garlic oil. On the buns. And that's the first fucking order of the day. So did you say to the guy, holy shit, to and your we, manager? He wasn't there. He was gone. Did you call him? No. I will be texting Probably him. the server did. Fucking you. But the have... ser- server was pissed because now she's like, oh, fuck. I don't know how he's going to react to the garlic oil now. He's going to die. You don't know how, like. Yeah. And the guy is also. Rain. Jesus, leave my feet alone. And also... Stop. Sit. And also, on top of that... Stop. Yes, I'm listening. Is that the guy, Mm -hmm. if you have a fucking allergy, should say right away, I'm allergic to this and this. Don't give me it. You can't... Yeah, maybe he was in your place. Listen, 
few times and that's what he ordered. And now you put fucking poison on his desk without <laughs> telling. So he usually eat over there. I don't know, I was sleeping. <laughs> Navalny, fuck. <laughs> that's tea, isn't that tea? Then that's it. But what happens is if you have allergic reaction, your fucking breathing pipe's fucking swollen and you can't breathe. Yeah, but he's, you don't know how he's going to react because it's just, it's just garlic his penis, oil. His There's penis not penis actually gonna... garlic in it. It's just the garlic was cooking in the oil. And the oil separate... made from garlic. They squeezing no, fucking oil. No, that's oil. not how we make it. That's not how you make garlic oil. You, know, you have to be some garlic you, inside. You grab normal vegetable oil. Okay. And you put a bunch of cloves of garlic in it. Uh-huh. And then you cook it together. Oh. For like half an hour. Yeah. You roast the garlic. Yes. So then you separate the garlic oh. from the oil. But you have a lot of garlic shit into it. So then the garlic Juice is garlic. out of the oil. And we use it for pizzas. The cloves of garlic. And then the oil, we put it in a separate bottle. Yeah. And it's just oil that was cooked with garlic. Yeah, but what you give to the people so they can put in the bandage oil? Or, or we you paint it. Why are you do it? Because my boss decided that day, <laughs> let's start painting these buns with garlic oil. So we hear the story of this one? No. You have today tell him everything. I know. I'm gonna... It's like the... Make your the... point like this. Guy from different place, Ritter, then swearing, then garlic buns, not good idea. Guy have allergic to garlic. No information about garlic. Stop doing shit like that. Let's cook normal shit. Stop inventing shit. Then you send me manager who play fucking golf all day. <laughs> and I have to keep open everything for this retard. Yeah, the guy... And they screaming on our waitress, swearing. The girl almost cried. Well, she didn't cry. She was just like, Jesus, he was fucking angry. <laughs> he wanted pizza. <laughs> But see, she kind of fucked up too. She didn't say to him, pick it up by 11 p.m. on the phone. What she said to him? Pick it up 10 she, after 11? She was so shocked that she's just like, he can make you this pizza. Bye, come pick it up. How, how hard does make pizza? It's you not, everything it's in, not yeah. hard. The mm. problem is this guy's a manager for like a hotel. And he's saying on the phone, I want a fucking pizza. You have to feed me. <laughs> Talk to this That's guy. That's the problem. Yeah. This guy works in hospitality, dealing with people every day has to be nice. You should Train be nice to your own people. Own people. If you he say yeah. nice to you, please fucking man, we're hungry. Well, you okay. will be on the way. You tell this yeah. guy to do But not fucking screaming and swearing and demanding and then not even pick it up on the time. I have to wait for the return. Yeah. And then on the top. Fucking your buns almost killed the guy. Yeah. Fucking that's it. What buns? Fucking your new garlic. The guy have allergic to garlic and he said you didn't even specify your menu. It's garlic on this thing. That's big no-no. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. Crazy, crazy day yesterday for me. So it's okay. You said like I said... See, you feel my pain. You I see feel that? it. I feel it. It's fucking unbelievable. I know, but... Yeah, but that's... I lost all my music. I have, that's my, the worst. I have managers saying, that's, fucking make me pizza. That's what it'd be like. Hope. I almost kill a guy with garlic buns. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, holy shit, what else can happen today? And the guy do no time. <laughs> yeah, the guy can't tell time. Big numbers, 11. Not 11, 11. Yeah, there's a big sign in front yeah. of the building. You have to drive past the sign, too, to get to our parking lot. It was too dark. Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck, it was just... You know this guy how he looked like? Yeah, he looked like a fucking asshole. That's what... <laughs> Can you destroy this guy if you fight with him? Yeah, I, act I should. Okay. So... Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna tell my boss today, I'm like, if any of these pillar and posts... Or, oh fuck, I should You can say, say uh, like, uh, you know, uh, names uh, uh, to him. Yeah. Uh, no, you can't threaten him. You have to be smarter. You have to say, listen. I, I said, I'm no, not no, gonna... no. You said, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Yeah. One more time like this, I'm going to hang in the phone and I don't care anymore. And that's it. Tell him that. You know, screaming and I'm, what I said to you, you supposed to say. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a slave. slave. That's it. Say that. This should be the name of the episode. I'm not a slave. Yeah, that guy was unbelievable. We was on the radio. Yeah. And he like this. Uh... 
he always will go to 7 Eleven. We might give you these coupons. Yeah, yeah they because give you the coupons. Because how we fill up Sweeper, we take like 120 or 200 liters. So they give us like $7 each, the coupons. Mm -hmm. So he always goes to 7 Eleven. So this, that 7 Eleven was in Welland. We was almost in St. Catherine's. Yeah. And, uh, and he said, it's break time, we're going. And the guy from the company who was hired, uh, yeah, you can go to that. No, 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 we go to 7 Eleven. But that's like uh, 20 minutes away. You can't go. I can. I'm not slave. You don't tell me what to do. It's my break. Bye. And we go to 7 Eleven. I laugh on behind how I hear. He always say, I'm not slave. And he said, You're not, uh, you, you, um, we're not slaves. We can go wherever we want. Mm -hmm. Can you? I follow. And I said, I'm follow. I'm not slave too. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I say at my work all the time, there's three main... Because it's fucking no. bullshit. You can't fucking say to somebody, do something if you don't want to do. You have always choice. Listen, if I treat right, I'm not slave. I'm fucking going to do it for you. But if you fucking retard, tell me like, what are you thinking? What are you Whatever you... You think it's going to make it better? What yeah. are you going to take back? You say, fuck you. And you're not going to say, fuck you back. Are you crazy? That's how humans work. You fuck me, I fuck you twice. Bye. Yeah. You ask me nicely. Listen, I forgot it. Blah, blah, blah. Different story. Uh -huh. No, I want it now. I want the water now. I'm losing. We were laughing at my work. We were like, imagine we called him the next day if he was working at that property. And we're like... We don't want to fucking drive home tonight. We want a fucking hotel room. Get us a hotel room ready. And fucking hung up the phone. Yeah. We're busy. Yeah, we're busy. We don't want to go home. We want to sleep in the hotel. Give us a fucking room 50% off. We'll... Yeah, yeah. And yeah, get home. it ready. Yeah, yeah, We were like... That's like that's like us doing that to him. Imagine no, if we like, did that to but him. But you don't want to do that. You just... You're winning now. Because you right now get the talk. Put down. He swear... You said everything, and you said, I, I, I want to report this to somebody. I want to talk to you, an HR, HRR person. Who is HRR yours, fucking shit? In Ooh, your... It's a whole separate office. Yeah, you yeah. go there. You said, I want an HRR phone number. So you can call them and tell them the same story about this guy. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to talk to him and say, no, 40%. And that's it. But it's like... No! You... We, we, have three, we have three main guys at my work. If one of us walks out for any reason, like just decides, fuck this, I'm done with this, because it's getting to a point where yeah, it's, it's probably going to be yeah, someone's yeah. going to walk out soon. Because it's so busy. The fucking man. place is going to, the place will crumble if one of us, one of the three are gone. Because we fucking are the backbone. Um, trust me, they always find somebody. No, you can't, you can't replace the three. The, us three, we're all like workhorses. I know. We come from like crazy places where it was even like triple more busy than what we have now. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna kill the workhorse soon. But don't worry. You know you're on the bottom of the chain, so fucking. You're... I'm not on the bottom. No, no, no. I'm like in the middle. Yeah, you think, but it's shit. Mm. Heating. You. I worked. I ended up working with every manager from every property, and they see how I work. They were telling me to go apply to be the fucking head chef for other restaurants. That's what I tell you. Go finish school. At least you have. You paper. don't have to finish. No, school. you have to no, have the don't. papers. No, you then don't. To be they a chef. No. no, you don't. Yeah, but then they have to pay you rate of chef. They because they're gonna run away. Hire you like a chef, but don't pay you. Chef. I could go fucking buy a truck and have a grill on it for five grand and make more money. I don't want to see my fucking shoes go. See, this is the problem. You have that lazy mentality where you're like, I can't create my own business and no, give myself I... more money. I have to find some big, rich, fucking pussy hog to fucking pay me a bunch of money an hour because I have some bullshit skill. Or you, you're like, I'm too lazy to go get a business license and make my own business with my own skill and then make triple the more money. So you want to do it? You want to buy yeah, a Yeah, I want to fucking truck? do it. I'm trying to save money. So what what do we need? We need truck and we need... Truck and a grill. Oh, we need good truck. It doesn't have to be good. Oh, fuck. The food is going to be good. No, listen, you have to drive this thing. You have to have good truck. You're going to buy shit truck. It's going to break down every five seconds. And then fucking MTO going to pull you over because 
Every commercial vehicle going non a normal car. You can. It's you, not a commercial vehicle. Yeah, this com- everything what business is commercial. So if you have a food truck, you have to go to the scale house. Ask Google if a uh, yeah, food I truck know. is commercial. I've never seen a food truck go for a checkpoint for the. You have to, and they can NTO can stop you. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Suri. Hey, Suri. The fruit, uh, the food, food the truck, truck is commercial vehicle. Is not. Just to confirm, you'd like to call Ontario Truck? No. Home? No. No. Who would you like to call? Hey, Suri. Food trucks are the commercial vehicle? I have it here. I have the answer. Okay, you should know. It says here, vehicle license for food trucks. Yeah. Your truck, with its own requirements... It is a motor vehicle, after all. Yeah. Note that the weight of your truck matters for the type of license that you need. It's by the weight. And it's possible that you will be required to yeah. have a commercial yeah. license, but only it depends how big it is. Yeah, that's you don't I'm have to have a commercial license to own a food truck. To 11,000 pounds. It says by the weight. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you right yeah. now. To 11,000 pounds. See, that's why a lot of food truck guys, what they do is... They're buying like a little ones. No, they so buy a... Fit, fit right before 11,000. So yeah. Which is square box. What you have... Wait. What this most of them trucks look like. Like a UPS truck. That's... Right before you don't have to go on scale with this thing mm-hmm. because it's not because I think so you have to go on the scale since it's 11,000 up. Mm-hmm. So, hey, Google, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 sorry, hey, sorry, how heavy you have to go to inspection uh, weight scale? Okay, I found this on the web for how heavy you have to go to inspection weight scale. Check it out. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. Holy fuck. Yeah. You have, like, 20 uh, pages there. Holy Jesus. Oh, How am I going to see this? So, okay. basically, you don't need a commercial license for a food truck. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's just because a like a pickup license. truck. Yeah. But, but it's the biggest, uh, like, uh, let's see. How heavy have to be? You refer to the weight scale, request quality, later to $20,000 if you pass the scale. But see, you know what else I could do? I could do something different where I could do like a pop-up like a food tent. I could do it where like if I get a used pickup truck, I could put a tent in the back with a, with a couple of charcoal grills. And then I set up the charcoal grills. You can have charcoal grill. Think about it. You, you're gonna be fucking running on the truck for like five seconds and next one. What do you mean? Next... We went for Queen's Yeah, but you I... have to go, you have to have temperature for yeah, this shit. Yeah, it lasted fucking two hours that grill, hot. We cooked fucking asparagus, corn, burgers, Yeah, every... two hours and yeah. then you need more. Yeah. More, more. You it's need $10 gas. a bag. Yeah, but you hook up nice, no, proper you, thing you, with barbecue. You never run and... a business. No, you don't know. You don't have imagination. You don't have cooking. imagination. I know how people. You can... don't fucking know anything about cooking. I watch the show. You I don't see it. Out in anything you have to have cooking. a propane. No, you don't. You have a grill inside the truck. No, you're you sitting don't. in a truck. You no. have an f- exhaust system. No. So you have to cook no. outside because you're going to be suffocating no. in the summertime. You have to no. have air conditioning fucking No, over you don't. There. That's you wasting money on stupid shit like an idiot. Yeah. That's go, you. Go sit on a 120 degrees fucking in a cooking truck. No. I'm not talking about a fucking truck because you're not fucking listening to me. Yeah, you want fucking a tent. Want. I want it so you come with a pickup truck to like a park. You just get a permit for 200 bucks to be in the park for eight hours. You fucking set up a tent. You fucking put some charcoal grills. You do easy five fucking item menu. Burger, corn, this shit, that shit. I don't think this can be easy. Yes, you can. Some days they know nothing. You just get a permit. You go to the city, you're like, I want a permit for this park. I'm going to sell burgers. And this they, they this is my business license. I'm going to tell you what they're going to tell you. There's already so many permits, we can't sell it anymore. No. Where do you see fucking people asking for permits for parks? Yeah, the guy who Nowhere. for food trucks. Nowhere. Food trucks, you don't need permits. You park and you sell. No, no, you need it. No, you don't. Hey, go, uh, so, uh, sorry. Hey, sorry. The food truck need permit for selling the food? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please repeat it? You say, hey, Suri, 
Do food trucks need a permit to sell food? Okay. I found this on the web for do food trucks need a permit to sell food. Check it out. What do we end up with? Yeah, you need license and permit. You just need a business license. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. a business license costs food truck. $200. That's it. It says Toronto has entered step one of the provincial road map reopening. Okay. Takeout, drive through and delivery is permitted, including alcohol. Outdoor dining is also per. See, you could do outdoor dining. That's what I'm saying. You could probably fucking set up a grill in a park. Oh, my God. Can you find this? It doesn't say anything here. No? No. It says, what do you... What do I need to do to be able to operate a food truck? Okay. And this is all it says. Obtain a motorized refreshment vehicle owner license. Yeah. And then obtain a mobile food vending permit. And that's all you need. Okay, so keep going. going. Where and when can I operate? It says on public roads with a mobile permit. Private property, commercial parking lots... With the permission of the owner, that's all you need, just permission of the owner of the land. Green P parking lots, you just need a permit. 30 liner meter from an opening and operating restaurant does not include food courts or entrance to a building. You have to park in the middle of the nowhere. And then no more than two food trucks per block. <laughs> Yeah. The guy have in Canon Tire, you know, Canon Tire, yeah. have this forever over there. Every and, Ma- Canada, see, and you have a two, and you, you can't look no Maximum permit five hours. So you just go for lunch from 12 to 5. Yeah, but how much per permit? Permits are like nothing. You pay like fucking like 300 bucks. Per day? Yeah. That's a lot of money. If for you a day. sell a thousand burgers for five for hours, five dollars, you can't fucking sell in five hours five thousand yes, burgers. You, a thousand burgers. No, that's two hundred burgers an hour. Yeah, people if usually you s- go to the store. Where are you gonna park? Holy shit! Which fucking parking? Holy shit! And first of all, you can find people that own land, and they can say, "Yeah, you can." Yeah, but who go into this land? Who know you there? What do you mean these fucking idiots go to fruit stands in the middle of fucking nowhere in Niagara Lake, and they sell like two thousand dollars of fruit a day? Yeah, but that's fruit stand. And they're selling it on their own land. They didn't even have to pay for a permit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but see, that's not easy, like you're thinking. Bro. Yes, it is. Okay. You know how many people go for, like, bullshit rib fest, bullshit fucking food truck festival? Yeah, they're making a lot of money quick. Bullshit obviously. fucking this festival. Yeah, but you have to have supply, too. You know how much money you have to pay for this thing? And you have to have a truck with good freezer because you have to keep this everything fresh. Freeze. Yeah. You can't have uh, uh, floppy fucking burgers waiting five hours. It's not floppy burgers for five hours. I don't know. We should uh, start the renting movies about the food trucks. <laughs> Not even. You could just set up, like what I said, the oh. fucking tent with grills. But if you have a truck, you can even sell it in a, how it's raining and everything. You have now have to worry about your tent. In the truck, you in the truck. You have, like, fucking start on the wheels. But if you have a tent, you have room for people to hide under the tent so they don't get Yeah, wet. in the winter time, how are they going to sit there? You still can sell it in the winter if you have a nice truck. Put the heater, truck working, you have your fucking propane working with your grills, and you're selling to everybody. Everybody. Or, fucking... in the winter time, you go like this. You go, like, say there's, like, a public ice rink somewhere, and you go to the city. I want to set up a fucking yes. food thing here for the next three months. Can I hook next up? To no, the ice rink. you have to have your hookup. Oh, no problem. We have, we have propane. We have fucking uh, truck working nonstop. We have generators. Because we're gonna, we don't need to run truck all the time. We have generators. Or if you're really smart, you rent like a little storefront, and that's like your prep kitchen. You got guys working there, making the patties, prepping the food for you. And then you have a guy who just drives over whenever you call him to your tent, and then you finish it off at the no, tent. That's too much work. No, it's not. What happens if it's fucking accident and the guy can't make it? Okay, you call another different guy. Yeah, but this, this what do you road mean? is closed, and the guy's waiting for you. There's no such food. thing. Road is closed. Oh, is it? Yes, no, it's me. not. Yeah. It's called take a different route. You fucking idiot. Not fucking. Oh, no, the I'm road's stuck closed. Now with your I can't. Two hundred burgers. Yeah, I can't fucking show. I up. don't know. I don't know. I think so. We should make research. I know from fact. It's a lot of bullshit. 
So like I'm I'm like, thinking. I always said I know count on nobody nowhere. I'm count what I have in my fucking car. I have my burgers. I have my stove. I have my fucking generator. I have my air condition just in case if it's a fucking hot like crazy. I have this. I know go fucking cheap. I'm go top of line and then I'm cook for people. And then fucking inspector coming. You think you can inspect them come to your kitchen and fucking check for fucking dirty shit? They're gonna check. And they're gonna have... You're already like, like, outside. No, no, no. He's gonna say, I wanna check your uh, sanitary shit. Because it's covered still. Got. And you, go ahead. You know how many times the inspector showed up at my place during COVID? Yeah. Fucking two times in 18 months. That's yeah, it. Exactly. That's it. That's it. Because they have no so many. They have to check so no, many. No, because they're laid off. But because saying, guess what? Think Restaurants about it. were closed. I'm fucking having night. We save money. We buy a nice fucking truck. We fucking buy a nice grill. We screwing self to the truck. We fucking doing everything self. We build up inside. I've been working in kitchens for twelve years. Yeah. I have to set up how the kitchen. Has yeah, to be you set told up. me because because I, I, I can buy a nice pickup uh, tube vent truck. I mean with windows and make sure we know exceeding this weight. We, even with grills, mm -hmm. we can have a bath. That's why charcoal is lighter, because if you do big propane... Ah, yeah. if you do Stop big and be stupid! You can't fucking on a coal fucking making business! Yes, you can! You need fucking runaway propane, so you have runaway everything going. You can do charcoal extra on top. You need this thing going on Maybe the biggest restaurant in Ontario, yeah. Webster's, a burger place yeah. in Aurelia. Yeah. Everything is charcoal. Okay, look and at this. They... You have a normal grill. You yeah. put charcoal. You yeah. fucking warming them up. You scooping. Then you put in your stupid fucking portable ch checking, and you can cook. But you have to have a main thing who always fucking going no, around. No, you're retarded. No, you're, you're retarded. retarded. You're Everybody retarded. Everybody gonna agree with me. No, you don't know fucking life. You yes, have to I have. do. That's what I said. If you go road trip, you don't take old car because you know gonna fucking break what down. What if your propane hose broke? How are you gonna fix it? I have second. Pro I it? have second How propane hose. Fix your grill. If you, all your hoses snapped. Not every each one gonna snap. Yeah, but, but you're gonna have like you know plan B. You, you know what? I have with plan charcoal. B. You know what you do with charcoal? You just light it and it's fucking hot. Propane. You have to hook a hose. You need the tanks. Yeah. You have tanks to, is like $30. The fucking propane tank's gonna run out in half an hour. You're gonna have to go refill it every half no, an hour. No, you'll have a three or, tanks or with No, you. and then now you're gonna have to have fucking ten propane tanks in your truck, which you have no fucking room for, but you have room for ten bags of charcoal because it takes way less space and it's way less expensive. You should watch some fucking YouTube. I'm gonna watch today about Wait fucking me, food. If show. you watch guys with travel food shows all of them are using charcoal grills and random fields to cook. You can look. All new Gordon Ramsay videos with him making eggs, it's all charcoal grills. Yeah, eggs. People want fucking... You have to have a menu. Unbelievable. You I'm not up. saying I'm cooking eggs, you fucking idiot. I'm saying the easiest fucking thing to do is charcoal grills. I want an HR fucking from Bruno Gatti yeah, office. And yeah. I go and call. I get abused. I'm not slave. I know how to listen to this. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I tell you right now, I think so. You should think big. You can sh fucking go uh, fucking Mickey Mouse I am Mouse thinking shit. big. That's Mickey Mouse shit for me. No, it's I'm not. I'm fucking buy a brand new truck. If you have You're invest, an idiot. You have no money. How are you going to buy a brand new truck? You go like buy a car. You go No. In, yeah, you buy a truck. Go like see it. how easy it is to get a business loan to buy a brand new truck. You're going to get $100,000 to buy a brand new truck? I don't have to Come buy hundred thousand dollars. I can buy for fifty thousand. There's no fifty thousand brand new truck. Yes, they do. Truck. Yeah, it's Ford pickup. Fucking with unbelievable. No. Uh, See, now you're stealing my idea, which is get a bullshit pickup no, truck. No, no, no. I know everything from that. I say Ford. Yeah. Uh, like uh, Tim have cube van with big bags over there. Yeah. Fucking, uh, we cut the windows. Yeah. We install everything inside, and we said. Look, if I Google food trucks for sale. I'm going to tell you the average price for food trucks. Take a guess. What do you think a food truck would cost if you want to buy... $75,000. Full say, brand new. I say one hundred and twenty. Seventy-five. dollars Trucks for sale near me. Trucks for sale for food trucks? Yeah, food trucks for sale for near me. Let's see, Kijiji. 
And show me the picture so I can see it. Food concession truck trailer container for $45,000. That's not bad. I don't know what this means, container. Because you're a fucking retard. You say truck. I want to see the truck pictures. No fucking trailer container. It's like... Look, it's like a fucking... Like a trailer. It is trailer. With a full kitchen inside for $45,000. Yeah, that's trailer. Yeah. Yeah. But see, the problem with that is you have you can't like move around too much with it. Yeah, you can. You know what I mean? But you need a DZ license for your trailer. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I have it, we, so it's okay. We need it so it's like easy. We need it like not too big where we need... That's like that, huge that, restaurant. Yeah, yeah I know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. We have to get... We have to get a truck big enough where it's not considered a commercial. It's under commercial. Yeah. Then we have to figure out how to kind of renovate it and set it up where I, we can put I a grill in it. For f- the base fucking cube van, which I can buy for 50 grand, brand new Ford. So I don't have to worry the thing going to die on me anymore, any soon. Have a warranty and everything. Mm-hmm. Then the box we buy ourselves or we order complete different company who do fucking shit for food trucks and they install if, for you. If someone gave me the power to design and make a restaurant for them, it would be a fucking amazing <laughs> I place. gotta have a big truck of fucking mountain and everybody fucking... No, enjoy. I'm just saying for like yeah, making yeah. like a portable, you, you do like a tour. Like we promote on here, like people watching, we go, we're gonna hit these 10 parks in Ontario, and then we're gonna set up for five hours, come get food. Like, we could do that. You know what I mean? Hello? Yeah. What are you typing? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna build my, how much, how I can build my food truck? How I can build my food truck? (laughs) Here we go, I have a guy. He already was showing right on the beginning. Look, food truck part two. Look at this. He sh- I don't care. Yeah, but <laughs> turn him off. Yeah, but look, look. Yeah, I'm gonna. They're gonna watch us watch a video. They're watching a video of no, us I'm watching a video. No, I'm showing you, Rita. He Rita. bought it normal cube. Look, another true above delivery. Oh no, I'm not concession trailer. But like I said, this guy. Okay, that's fantastic. Record for him. He bought a cube van, brand new, and he's showing after how he done. And that's a food truck. But I'm saying you could do a more efficient, better way than just a truck. Like, you could literally just do I know, setup. but you have to have a convention. Uh, you have to have everything. Not conventional oven, no. No, you, you have one. to have everything nice. You have to even have a microwave. And you have to have it like build up everything. You know a lot of Listen, shit. you know, let me finish. And you then, if you want to add something, like you say, your ten and that to this thing, so it's better because you have a bigger. You can do it your part over there with your fucking tent. You have a little kitchen, mm-hmm. like you say, charcoal. But the main kitchen is in the truck. And if you fucking charcoal blow up. You have still Charcoal fucking pro, blow up. propane, propane and everything blows up. and fucking go. Oh, propane blow up if you have fucking old shit. I don't to buy everything new. Fucking new cable. I go my brand. Money. What can what can my money. you can make? You can go to the uh, banks and say, listen, I gonna I gonna open food bank, uh, food truck. Yeah, food bank. Can I have uh, so much money because I wanna buy truck yeah. and uh, equipment? They're gonna look oh. at your credit history and be like, fuck no. No, I he pay cars. <laughs> he pays all cars on the time. Everything he gonna say yes. You sure. Yeah, and he making so much money. So that's what but I'm want. telling you, the more fucking space you take up in the park, the more money you have to pay for see, that permit. See, look, look on this picture, how he was empty, and look how he ended up on the other side, how he built up. That's empty. fantastic, and no one watched it. He's got like 7,000 views. But it doesn't matter, he just and started you know, two months ago. And you know what he probably did after? He probably just sold that truck because he couldn't make money from it. No, because he wasted all of his money spending seventy five grand building that fucking stupid shit. It's not say seventy five. Hundred percent, he spent fifty to seventy five grand. Brand new equipment's expensive. If you want a propane grill, 
Brand new one? I buy fucking in call in Walmart. Brand new propane. No, you need a fucking actual like restaurant grill. You can't use bullshit Walmart. What stuff. is the difference? It's steel. Huge one. different. What you you restaurants use these things called conventional ovens, yeah. which is you can't buy at Walmart. And you can't buy. Yeah, but you, they Com- have grills. Normal, like look and, like fucking my barbecue shit. And you can't fucking buy a normal big fucking propane grill for the house. You have to build a whole fucking ventilation system if you want it. In the yeah, house. we're gonna do it in the ventilation. And those system. cost between ten to twenty thousand dollars, brand new. What? A fucking propane grill. You crazy? I don't know what you. I'm shopping every day. I see. No, you I don't. I even tell you the difference. I, I say I restaurants. see. Yeah, you. That's not a restaurant. That's food truck. So we're gonna. It's use still it. a fucking restaurant. Yeah. So we're gonna do it beautiful. You say you want top barbecue. of the line. You want top of the line? Yeah, beautiful okay. barbecue. With fucking unbelievable bonus no. and everything. You know what would be smart is we buy a Traeger grill. It's like a thousand bucks. The yeah. fucking slow cooker. We put fucking big slabs of meat fucking in there. Let it slow cook. And then when people come, you fucking slice it on the spot and fucking make a sandwich. Yeah, we make a sandwich. Done. And it's a thousand dollars for that fucking thing. And that's it. Instead of spending like fifteen thousand dollars on a stupid fucking propane grill, you fucking want what are you wrong with your fucking... because you don't it's know scary. how expensive I... they no, are. No, I said if you buy a big smoker charcoal grill, it's only fucking three thousand dollars for that. You want your fucking bullshit propane grill set up? It's gonna be fifteen thousand. Yeah, you know how smoker have to long working for super even turkey. No, they we have don't. it for eight hours. No. Well, that's the show. That's us done. Oh, we're gonna figure. This out. is why we can't have a business together because you've never ran a business. You never even own a fucking business license before. I know, but I'm from you my see this life YouTube? experience. No. I see it how people do it no. and how they struggle if no, they no, buy no, no, a piece no. of shit no. something and do it Mickey Mouse. I always no. said you have to have a plan B. Like the people you say never to me, done listen. A business. People say to me, how come you keep it this old car in half second? I'm like, yeah, you stupid. If you this die. I have run away second. Oh, then you buy. No, I have to go that day to work. I can't wait to go buying cars. No, you're the moron who's spending more money on insurance to have two cars for no fucking reason. I don't spend much you money. Would save, 50 bucks. You would save more money if you didn't have 50 that. bucks? Yeah. It's peanuts. Yeah. That's still saving money. And plus, your fucking car costs like $100 to fill up on gas. You're filling every, every month. Week. No. Every week. No week. I and just you don't realize how much, you sit, no. how much money you waste are on you, stupid are, shit. No, you're crazy. Yeah. You see, you know, see it. You this waste side. money on stupid shit. You don't realize that. No, you're thinking it's stupid shit, but yeah, it's not. It it's, is. I'm the smartest but man on the planet. But that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep safe. I have visor. He have a visor. We healthy. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.